I'm Tom from DIY Life Tech, and this is a look at code that fits in your head. This is a book from Mark Seaman, um, and this is Heuristics for Software Engineering. All right, it's a relatively new book. This is the first edition. It's hefty. It's 350 pages. It's out from Pearson. Um, they were kind enough to send me a copy to review. And um, I think this is a really cool book because it's a coding book, but it's not necessarily about code itself, which is kind of maybe a little bit counterintuitive. So I think of coding books as being like a Python book that goes into a bunch of detail about, you know, specific functions and uh, and how to write, you know, particular kinds of code. This is not that. Um, it's almost more philosophical. You know, we're, we're uh, learning about things like using Git um, to synchronize your code and work in teams, um, writing code in a sustainable fashion, how to update uh, code with that, uh, that's legacy, you know, and, and add to um, systems uh, without overwhelming, um, you know, yourself or the teams that are going to be maintaining them in the future or uh, the system itself. Um, and uh, a lot of it is really based on, you know, how people interact with code. So thus the code that fits in your brain concept here. Um, so a lot of this is about how to structure code, how to document code, so that it's easy for you to understand and also easy for people down the line to understand um, you know, when they inevitably are going to be maintaining that or, uh, or adding to it down the line. So there's definitely some technical stuff. There's things about unit tests. Uh, there's definitely you know, actual code examples you can see in here. Um, and it gets into quite a lot of detail that's going to be very technical. But I think some of my favorites were just the earlier parts about you know, managing complexity, um, about, uh, you know, again, how to write code in a sustainable way, and particularly the observation that coding is almost like an art form. And, uh, and the author talks about that, that, you know, initially you think of coding as being something that's a science or, um, you know, maybe a, a vocation. Um, he ultimately sees it as more of a, a craft or an art, he would say. Um, and I think that's really interesting because, it's the concept that you can be taught to code, you can take formal classes, but you can also teach yourself just as you know you might teach yourself to paint or you might teach yourself um, to do any other kind of craft that just requires a lot of practice and work and thought and intention. So I think that's a cool concept. Uh, I think we sometimes think about coding and programming as being kind of inaccessible, high level, you know, math based. Uh, sure, that's part of it, but a lot of this is more about the philosophical side more about the element of code and coding as a craft that one can learn and pick up and improve and hone over time. So I think that's a cool observation. And, and again, even though we get, especially as we get further into the book, uh, we get quite technical. Um, I really think that that general concept is, uh, is really helpful. And the code that fits in your head idea is these heuristics and things where essentially you're um, creating code that's at a human scale, where you can understand it, um, where it's, you know, sort of fits neurally with what your brain is capable of managing. And also, again, um, that it's going to be understandable for the person or people who end up maintaining it in the future. Um, so really cool book. I'm really glad to have gotten a chance to review this. Um, and, uh, and thanks again uh, for that. And um, yeah, definitely check it out. If you're a software developer, I think you'll be able to get a lot out of it, especially if you've been in the field for a while. There's going to be a lot of insights in here that you, you know, probably know everything that's in a code book um, that's focused on you know the specifics of a particular language. But you'll probably pick up some interesting insights or just find yourself nodding your head in agreement with a lot of what you'll find here in code that fits in your head.